Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So let's see what we have here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start with some channeled messages, get into the Oracle, and then um, get into the reading. So Pisces, very interesting. I felt like there's going to be some form of miscommunication, okay? And it could be possible that the reason for this miscommunication is that too many people are getting involved or somebody here overheard something and then, you know, said it one way. Either way, it, I feel like it was a misunderstanding. Something happened here that was a misunderstanding and it causes someone to become very defensive and end a situation because they think that someone here is non-committal or, you know what I'm saying? Like so, that someone here betrayed them. Okay. Um, but I feel like once the dust settles, once the dust settles, um, I, I feel like someone's going to come in and say, listen, you're wrong. This is what happened. Let's work it out. Don't worry. It's not what you think. I, I feel like everything may possibly work itself out. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, pull some Oracle here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces. Okay, so we've got luck is on your side and work through your fears. So Pisces, whatever you thought happened here, okay, whatever you were worried about or fearing, luck is on your side. Again, I feel like it was a miscommunication, okay? So you're going to have to work through that fear to see the light and see that maybe it's not what you think it was, okay? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces. Clarity, guidance, love messages. We've got healer of the ages and contract, okay, and attachment. I feel like you thought that this was a bad connection. You thought that someone didn't love you. You thought that someone didn't care about you. But I feel like you're going to heal from this or the situation is going to be healed. Because I feel like, again, it was a miscommunication. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Pisces, okay? Stuck energy and creative endeavor. So Pisces, I feel like you're kind of, you're, you're unable to, you're kind of feeling a little stuck here because you don't know if you should move on, stay. You just don't know what's happening here. And I, I feel like, again, a lot of confusion. Tell me about Pisces, please. Oh, my gosh. Tell me about Pisces, please. Oh, my Lord. Okay. So we've got the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. So, Pisces, there is somebody getting involved here. We've got a snake in our mists, okay? Um... This person maybe is competing against you and you don't realize it. This person is going to come to scramble things up, okay? We've got, uh, we're playing events over in your head here with Cassette. So I feel that this is somebody that's going to come in and do something that puts fear in your mind or somebody that says something and it gets your mind going. With Keys on a Ring, we've got many options, decision, unconventional, string along, and one night stand. I feel, Pisces, that someone comes in and says something or acts in a certain way to get you thinking that your person had a one night stand with them or that your person slept with them in some way, shape or form. And I feel like you're going to separate with your person. You're going to be upset with your person. And this person is watching it all and being entertained. Okay. So there's somebody here, Pisces, that's going to come in and try to wreak havoc in your life. And it's not going to be a truth. It's going to be a misunderstanding and they're just watching it happen. Okay. Um, codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life getting to know each other um, as you reveal your innermost selves your bond deepens and see how there's three people in that picture and then we've got new love we've got new love a new person has served your romantic feelings so Pisces I feel like this third party is going to come in this person is jealous and competitive and they want to come in and make you think that your person and them have started a new romantic relationship. Okay. Someone may come in making you think that they have slept with your person or they've been talking to your person. Again, I don't feel that that's true. So let's just see what's happening here. This person is a snake. Okay. Tell me about Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Pisces need to know today, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know today, please, Spirit? Okay. 
So we have the Eight of Swords. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. We have the Two of Swords. And we've got the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Pisces, I feel like you're about to get a message from somebody. I feel like it's going to be an anonymous message. This person's going to keep it a mystery as to who they are, okay? Um, and with the Eight of Swords, it's really going to get in your head. It's really going to get in your head, and you're not going to know what decision to make. Uh, Page of Swords and the Empress here and the Seven of Wands. Somebody here may be seeing that you're in a relationship with somebody that puts you on a pedestal or that, you know what I'm saying, it may be you're moving into higher levels of commitment with this person, and they want to block it, okay? They want to block it. They want you to go. They want you to leave. So I, I feel like you're just going to get this random message out of nowhere, okay, out of nowhere. Um, I, I honestly feel... Feel like this person's not even going to say who they are um but it's going to get in your head they want to get in your head clarity guidance love messages for pisces here please tell me about this eight of swords for pisces the nine of pentacles virgo energy Tell me about the High Priestess for Pisces, please, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, Pisces, what you have here is somebody that sees you as Empress, sees you as pre-Empress material, maybe you're financially abundant. Um, this person sees you as somebody that um, the person that they want, wants long-term with, okay? Tell me about the Two of Swords. Page of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries Energy. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So this, this communication is coming in hot and heavy. Again, I feel like it's from this anonymous person. Honestly, I feel like you're just going to get a random message. Um, you're not going to know what to do with this information. And I feel like it's all coming because this person is on the sidelines watching you. They see that you're abundant. They see that you're beautiful, handsome, whatever. And this person wants to try to come in and cause blockages. Okay. Um, if you try to respond to the message, they won't answer, I'm getting here. Let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. Okay. So we have the Six of Swords. We have the Tower, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. We have the Five of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Three of Cups. So I feel like what happened here, Pisces, is somebody here possibly, I feel like, okay, what may have happened is you and your person may have had a tower moment. You may have had an argument. This person may have walked out of the house, okay? And I feel like they, they did something very quick, very stupid, possibly. With the Five of Swords in the reverse and the Three of Cups, they didn't go back to this. They didn't go back to this third party because they reconciled with you. So that's what I'm getting here. If you recently had a break with your person, okay, your person maybe started talking to somebody or something happened, and then you guys reconciled and that your person never went back to this third party okay um and i feel that this person felt rejected they thought it was going to manifest into something more okay this is a karmic cycle that has to close out unfortunately all right so let's see what we have here Tell me about the Six of Swords for Pisces, the Ace of Wands. Yes, yeah, someone here maybe started talking to somebody. Tell me about the Tower and the Four of Wands in the reverse. You see what I'm saying, Pisces? I feel like you and your person possibly split up and they did something quick, something reckless, something stupid here. I feel like they started to talk to somebody behind your back, okay? This person maybe met, met up with this person at night. I'm not sure if they necessarily slept with this person. Let's see. Tell me about the five of swords in the reverse and the nine of swords. And someone never came back, never called back. Tell me about the three of cups here for Pisces. Three of cups for Pisces. 
and we've got the six of swords um i, I feel that what happened here yeah see the third party is going to come out and speak a truth okay because with the seven of pentacles and the devil someone here it wants to hash up the past and say listen well your person did this okay so pisces um something happened here where you and your person were on a break your person went off and maybe started talking to somebody something happened here okay and i feel like this person's coming back around to speak their truth okay now if this person says i'm sleeping with your person uh, that may be the un misunderstanding Pisces because you and your person may not have been together during this time and this person may give the illusion that they're still having sex with your person or you know maybe there was no sex at all and your person just went on a date with them and was talking uh, you know with them and this this third party is making it seem like more than what it actually was so you know this person is just jealous and out to wreak havoc tell me about the challenge here for pisces the challenge for pisces the challenge for pisces okay yeah you have someone jealous here we've got the four of cups we have the three of wands and we've got the five of wands someone here feels used pisces someone here feels used you have someone that's very jealous they feel like you just you know someone here just came in used them as a rebound or whatever and then went back you know this person was waiting they thought that something was actually going to come of this and now with the five of wands i feel that um this person wants to come in and wreak havoc. I feel like someone here tried to send a message, but they were blocked, okay? They were blocked. And now someone's kind of really pissed off wanting to really tell the truth, okay? So, um, yeah, so so it's like someone here is, it, it wants the truth to come out. Uh, tell me about the outcome here for Pisces. Tell me about the outcome here for Pisces. So we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We've got the Nine of Cups and we have the Seven of Wands. So Pisces, I feel like you're very happy in this connection. This person is loyal. They are committed. They do love you. They do want this to go to higher ground. I do feel like you're going to work it out. Okay, I do feel like you're going to work it out. Um ace of wands and the lover's card here and it's just funny because in the traditional rider weight the lover's card is a man a woman and a snake covering and then we have snake here so pisces i feel like you and your person have a strong soul tie i feel like it's a very solid commitment i feel like you're going to come back together again i feel that with the six of pentacles ten of pentacles and the magician i do feel like there will be equal give and take i feel like there's long-term stability i feel like you guys are going to manifest um but first this truth has to come out you'll have it all but first this has to come out and be overcome okay it's a karmic cycle that just needs to be completed see the justice card and the world card again um once you complete this karmic cycle then everything will be fine but it's just it's going to get worse before it gets better okay i love you guys and take care